In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. On this fourth month, I mean, excuse me, on this fourth Sunday of Abib, we read about the raising of Lazarus from the dead. Um, and although we read this a few times during the year, um, it has different meanings because as this month of Abib, we celebrated the Feast of the Apostles. So the Sunday readings are relating to the works of the disciples and the works of the church in, in, in present day. Um, so why we read this? Because the work of the church is to bring, is to remove, and I'm going to focus on, is to remove the stone. Why? Because Christ is there to raise someone from the dead. And although we speak about an actual physical raising someone of the dead, but in the life of the church, that we are there to raise people from the dead of sin and to bring them into the new life of the holy resurrection, the spiritual death that plagues us, the role of the church is to bring its children and to bring the people to the world to come to Christ, that Christ himself may raise them from the dead. So what was the role here? Roll the stone away. Roll the stone away. So the first, why Christ is asking them to roll stone, not that he needed them to do it, but he needed them to be involved. So although God can do everything and has no need of us to do anything, but he uses us. So we, as disciples of Christ, have to do the role, work of God to what? To expose, in this case, by rolling the, the stone, it's exposing the dead person to Christ. So how we do this, we, we do this in preaching. You know, we, part, you know we, we, we preach to people that don't know Christ. They are dead. So one of the role of the church is to evangelize. Is to evangelize, not only just to preach to its own people that are alive in Christ, but also to evangelize to the world. Because in the world, they are dead of Christ, missing Christ. But it's God, and it's important to know, it's God who's going to do the miracle, not us. We can't do it. Our role is just bring people to Christ or Christ to the people. And that let Christ do his work. So when we open the stone, we are exposing the, the, the dead of the people to Christ. And there the miracle will happen. So we preach. We let people know that Christ came for remission of sins. And them to accept it. We as to expose that even within ourselves, we may have a brother or sister that is living a life of sin. And we let them know that we, because we love you, the same love that Christ came to the tomb today, that we roll the stone from, from their eyes and from their heart, that their sin be exposed to Christ, that be exposed to Christ, that Christ may raise them from the life of sin. The second point I'd like to mention about we need to roll the stone is what happens when we roll the stone. We remove the embarrassment and the shame. You know, when, when Christ said, remove the stone, Martha said what? Said, Lord, by this time now, there's what? What was her focus? Not, she wasn't focused that her brother is dead. She was focusing what? There's a smell. By now there's a stench. So some church fathers have mentioned like this could be a sign of the embarrassment. The embarrassment of the, 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 the sin. So when we roll the stone, what we're doing here is not to embarrass someone but to remove the embarrassment, to remove that stench of sin. Because when I come to the Lord Christ in a repentant way in my life, God removes the stench. God removes the embarrassment. 
God removes the shame. So as a church, we're here, but we, but we need to understand it's as if Christ is himself is raising the dead to remove the stench. We as a congregation, as a church, when we ex- remove the stone to expose the sin, it's not to embarrass people. We're not here to judge and condemn, but to help bring someone to Christ in their vulnerability, in their shame, in their embarrassment, to be removed from this. So we are called to remove, remove the stone. The third thing, when Christ is telling us to remove the stone, is remove the stone of the impossible. You know, when Christ was coming in town and the people started to see Jesus and Mary weep at the feet of Christ, they said, didn't he heal the blind if he was only here earlier? Because the idea in removing the stone and even what what Martha said, by now there's a stench. In other words, you know, imagine you know, someone goes to a cemetery and we go visit someone, there's the stone. And the stone, you know, lets us know this person is dead. And then we, when we read it, what does it say? When they were alive and when they what? Pass away. So the longer someone is in the grave, it's understood. It's, it's a done deal. They're not coming back. And this is a kind of a sign of the impossibility. That maybe someone who's been dead in sins and living life of sin, and you know, it's been a very long time. What we are removing when removing the stone is removing hopelessness from the people. We're, we're giving people hope that we tell them no matter how long you've been living this life of sin, no matter how long you think you've been dead to Christ, Christ can raise you up. And so what we do is we give a message of hope. We give a message of hope. So we go from being hopeless to being hopeful. Why? But what does it need from me? When Christ told Martha, I am the resurrection and the life, do you believe? So we as a church, we as disciples of Christ, should have faith that that even if someone long period of time is, is, is gone from God, that one, we pray for them. Number one, we're not going to raise them. Christ is going to raise them. But we have hope. And we give people hope. Even when someone comes and says, I feel hopeless. The sin has consumed me. And I can't get out of it. I'm, I'm as if what they're saying, I'm dead. I'm living in the deadness of life because of sin. But Christ can resurrect us. Christ is the resurrection and the life. And He can raise us and He can raise them. So when we remove the stone, we remove the stone of hopelessness. So our role as disciples is not to raise people from the dead. That's Christ's job. Our role as a church is to remove the stone. Remove the stone and expose the dead person to Christ so that Christ can raise them from the dead. Number two is to remove the shame and the embarrassment because of the stench of sin. And number three is to remove hopelessness from people's life. To give them hope that Christ is more powerful than dead itself and he has become victorious over over death by his death. And that now we have a new life in Christ. So, as a church, we remove the stone in preaching, we remove the stone in showing love, we remove the stone in giving hope and giving message of peace, rather than condemning someone and putting them down. As I'm sure we've all heard before, you know, imagine someone like St. Moses the Strong, if he was living today, and he walked today inside this church, knowing what we know about him, would we accept him? Will we accept him in this dead state? So we should not condemn people, but we should pray and have hope 
And however long it takes, however long it takes, you know, we're reminded of St. Augustine and his mother, St. Monica, 19 years praying with tears. She didn't lose hope. And Christ, God did a miracle and turned a man living a life of sin and, 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 and atheism to becoming one of the strong fathers of the church and a, a strong believer and one that brought many to the faith himself. So Christ can raise the worst of the worst even however long it takes and however hopeless it looks. Our role is not to, to raise the dead. That's Christ's role. Our role is to trust Christ and remove the stone. So today, my message for all of us, remove the stone. Remove the stone and expose the sin. Remove the stone and, and, uh, 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 and remove the embarrassment and the shame. And number three, remove the, hopeless, remove the stone and remove the hopelessness in people's life and remove the hopelessness in ourselves that maybe either we are dead in sin or that we can't believe someone who's living a life of sin can never come back. No, remove this very stone from your heart too and to help others to remove their stone. And in this, we will see the miracle. We will see Christ raising people from the dead. We do this in preaching. We do this in love. And we do this in prayers. We live this life. This is how we remove the stone. May God, who has risen us from the dead by his death and give us a new life in him, that we have received this gift of life. Freely we have been given. Freely we, freely we have received. Freely we, we give and continue to preach to the world to, and give hope and become light in this world that people may know Christ and that too we share with them the new life and the resurrection and glory be to our God forever. Amen. Oh, 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 oh.